What's up everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Joshua Casper and today I'm going to be teaching you about dummy clips. Um, one thing I want to say before we get started is subscribe, rate, comment, and definitely let me know any way you can about what you want to know about. Um, you got to tell me so I can teach you, you know, relevant information. Yeah, keep you guys on top of the game. That's what I aim to do. So anyway, um, today we're going to be learning about dummy clips, just like I said a second ago. But I found out about dummy clips because I was looking for a way to throw some delay on a track during the breakdown in Ableton, you know, while I'm doing my live set, and throwing some, um, you know, putting the heavy delay on there and then having it be quantized to shut off right when the beat comes back in and then still have those kind of delayed sounds play out until they were you know until they were done but just have the overall delay device shut off right on beat so i just hit it quantize you know four bars however many bars ahead i want it hit it and it was just shut off and i won't have to worry about it again i can you know be thinking about my next trick so this is the best way I found out about it. It's really easy and there's a lot of possibilities. You know, you just do some chains and stuff like that and then bam, you're uh you're smoking. So I'm gonna leave the whole project file as a as a download link over on the right. You just go ahead and download it and um or you can just follow along. It should be really easy. Um all you need is one loop and um I'm gonna be using this B boy break, but uh all you need is one loop to follow along and um, you know, a good copy of Ableton 7 at least. So anyway, go ahead and drop your b-boy break on the first audio channel and go ahead and play it. Bam. Um, delete this MIDI track. Go ahead and click on the audio one channel. Hit control D to duplicate it. Um, audio from on both channels should just be no input. Audio 2 right here should be going to Audio 2 and check in on your monitor. Click on your B-Boy break and duplicate it three times. Um, three times will work just for this. Um, and go to your effects. Take your audio effects rack. Drop it on the Audio 2 channel. Hit this button to expand it. Hit the chain button. Create four chains. You do that by right clicking. I don't know any other way to do it, but I'm sure there's a million. And then we right click, make these chains, title them as follows. First chain, dry. Second chain, oh, where are we? Repeat. Third chain, delay. Fourth chain, um, reverb. Bam. And then take, um, work for the repeat, Come up here to Audio Effects Rack, then go to Performance DJ and take B Repeat Madness and drop it on repeat. Then just go to your simple delay, drop it on the delay. And then go to your reverb and drop it on your reverb. Next thing you need to do is come over here to these little blue lines and pull it over so repeat says 1-1, one, one, delay says 2-2, two, two, and reverb says 3-3. Three, three. And I'm going to show you why we do that in a second, but it has to do with chaining these to these clips up here. So now go ahead and hide that come up here double click on the second b-boy break or actually the better thing to do is rename them dry repeat um, what was it delay reverb bam anyway double click on the repeat hit the E to bring up the envelope so click down on the clip hit the audio effects rack and make sure chain selector is selected because we're going to be chaining it to this chain in the audio effects so double click on this automation line to give you an automation line point and drag it up until it says plus one go to the delay everything should you know still be open the envelopes and whatnot double click on it bring that up to two reverb bring that up to three bam should be good good to go at this point so what we did is had this audio going into this channel and then this channel going into the master. Um, if these are clips that this ch is going to go through whatever clip is playing. So right now it's going to go through the dry and nothing's happening because there is no effect on our dry channel. Um, and then if we click repeat 
this is going to go through the repeat clip and the repeat clip is chained to this repeat effect so it's going to repeat and then delay and reverb you know are all going to do the same thing so let's just go ahead and play it and see what we can do So as you can see, just off the top, we got some fills. So if you got your regular drum beat going, you got someone on the mic or whatever, and you just want to do a quick fill, um, you go ahead and drop in that repeat, and it gives you a pretty cool, um, pretty cool thing. Um, obviously, you can play around with all these effects. You can assign them to you know your MIDI controllers and stuff like that, and tweak them out live, um, and and whatnot. Um, one thing to remember is always go back to dry, never hit stop. Um, that's just something for in the future when you're adding more, more chains and more links. And um, like right now, if you hit audio two, click on the two audio, control D to duplicate it. Audio two. So go to your audio two and go audio two, audio three, and then make sure it's on in. And now we can run two effects on this one clip. So the the music the you know the music's gonna go from here to here. And then whatever's going on here into here, and then whatever's going on here, the combination of these two, or all three of those rather, is going to go out to the master. So launch your first scene. Sounds pretty cool. So I put my repeat on, and then the repeated music goes through the reverb. You got to remember that, you know, that's the sequence of, of things. So. Um, you can have a reverb first and then go through the repeat which will give you kind of a, a different um, effect. You might not notice it with these two effects specifically but once you get into some other effects you will you know you'll be able to notice. But anyway that's all I wanted to show you. I just need to get something out real quick because I did say that I would put one out once a week. Um, hit me up let me know what you want to learn about and we'll try to fit that in and whatnot. Um, and until next week rate, subscribe, comment, check out www.joshuacasper.com and follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Joshua Casper. Uh, until next time, later.